what's going on YouTube Minecraft go here today I bring you episode 2 of how to create your own website so let's get started uh, so you, you might notice that website they have like background images and all that stuff color text and from what we did yesterday we would have a very primitive boring website so we're gonna learn it we're gonna learn some language named it's called uh, CSS and what it does it just allows you to like add uh, images uh, like to uh, as your default background and all that stuff so the first thing you want to do is create a new so just you can just do this through your desktop and save it as style sheet s that's one word s t y l s h e e t dot c s s dot c s s is very important because if you save as dot h t m l it will not work and you want to save it in the same place where your index dot h t m l is so I recommend putting it in its own folder quick save all right now go back to your uh, index.html and in your head section type what I type link space rel equals quotation mark quotation mark and now in between those quotations you're gonna put style oh, spell that wrong style sheet one word a space after the quote type equals text slash CSS quote and then you're going to do href equals style sheet dot CSS and an ending quote and then a space a, s a forward slash and your ending bracket all right so now if you n you'll notice nothing different here because we have we haven't uh, so just let me put some text right here this is a word no I'm just kidding we'll do this is a sentence and remember whatever you start you have to end see this is like a this is like one an, a weird tag where it's included into one so that's why we do the slash at the end so if we go into our style sheet and let's do alright to make a class file which allows you to like make that let's say we want to um make that text if we preview this it's black it's kinda small too let's make we'll make it bigger and yeah so let's type just dot I'm just gonna call this text it's dot text now you're gonna do your like squiggly bracket or whatever you kinda place it like that and now in between those squiggly brackets we're gonna type color col this, is, this is a colon right here space and then whatever color you want I'm just gonna use red now this colon comma semicolon whatever you want to call it it's just this I'm just gonna call it a semicolon for now click enter and then let's do font Tw and let's say we want it bigger so let's make it uh, 36 point Arial black and then your semicolon so we go back here Oops, I did something wrong. Oh, right here where it says P. I forgot. I'm sorry. I forgot to mention this. You got to do class equals quotation, and in in between that quotation, you'll enter this right here. You you do not enter that period. It just um that period just lets the the style sheet know that it is like a a class file. Just paste that in. Ending quote. And now if we preview it, it's very large, like that. This is a sentence, it's in red. Oops. And that's exactly what it, we wanted to do. So that's like an individual thing, but you can also do it for like uh, dividers, which we'll get into maybe later. So I'm just gonna delete that. Let's say now, let's type in body, squiggly brackets. And there's no period, all right? So let's do, um, let's say width. Let's make it a thousand pixels. Your semicolon, and let's do the color. And the, the color is your uh, what your uh, the text color will make it green, just so you can see it. Now, if we preview it here, it's this, it's back to the default font and uh, text type or whatever. Um, forgot what it's called, but it is green, so that means it, it's working. 
And, um, hmm, what should we do? Alright, let's say uh, that we want, like, um, a background color, or, like, a background. So we're just going to type in background, a space, and then the color you want for the background. Let's say I want a light gray, I guess. Oops, I spelled that wrong. A light gray. And let's do URL, and now your parentheses, and a semicolon. In between those parentheses, we're going to put the path to an image you want. Say mine's Minecraft to go forward slash images forward slash mtg2.png. And let's see if it worked. Yep. Now we have a repeating background. All right. <clears throat> so now, all right. I think that's all we'll cover for uh, CSS today but now let's say let's get into some more HTML say uh, I'm actually going to take that off because it's kinda hard to see and I'm gonna dot large oops dot large text All right, font 36 point Arial black I'm just doing this so you guys can see it better and class equals large font and I recommend for classes do not do any spaces and keep it all lowercase because that could cause some problems in the future and I die large text oops text alright so now you guys can hopefully see that now let's say we want it to be center so if you type in center and at the end, we type in slash center, save it and preview it. It is now in the center of the page. Uh, it might not look like it's in the center, but a thousand pixel then mark is the end mark is probably like right around there. So I think I would have to uh, have like a center in the I don't know. oh and uh, so if we go back to the preview, if we want like everything to be centered and not floating, or this is actually floating to the left of your page. So if we ran this in Safari, it would be all uh, beside this this entire body. It's in, it's invisible; you can't see it. But the entire body would actually be floating to the left. Let's say if we want that to be center, go to your body, um, enter, and now type in margin colon. 0 px no spaces between that a u t o auto semicolon go back to our index.html and it is now in the center so if we ran this again in safari it would be completely in the center of the page all right well i think that's it for today's tutorial um the, we'll begin a lot more advanced tomorrow uh this is not much to learn but if you actually think about it, I didn't do so much is because you would, this is like a whole new language compared to uh, HTML. I mean, they're both pretty easy to learn. I think I learned both of these in like two weeks. I mean, both of them, and I was like a 45-minute class every day for two weeks or 10 days total. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, click the link right here uh, for episode three. And if you missed it, uh, the link in the beginning of the video for episode one. You can get that in the description. So thanks for watching.